want to be going on with very good team, uh, ideally really good friends. And these friends may not be part of the co-founding team, but they could also be part of a larger ecosystem like Ash Innovate and other incubators and so on. Uh, for me, frankly, the challenge is really finding this right mix of talent with the right mix of uh, funding and experience to bring a technology to market, right? And that, that requires many, many different levels of expertise. If you don't have the right team, frankly, it becomes really tough. Uh, try not to be a sole founder, it's ex exceptionally challenging. Uh, so I generally overcome this by continuously talking to different people to, to kind of find out the, the types of skill sets and expertise they can offer and also to build the right relationships with full transparency on, on, on what we all of us uh, get out of this uh, endeavour. My hope is that the technologies and the research that we are developing can be used in every intelligent devices in the future, right? So we have technology made in Singapore and built by Singaporeans and, and actually put into intelligent robots. I don't think there's real separation between a scientist uh, or an entrepreneur. I mean, uh, in general, being an entrepreneur requires a very strong creativity and strong curiosity, which uh, most people actually have. We just have to really bring that out, allow that to come out. And generally, as scientists, we tend to be more, much more critical uh, of ourselves and, and sometimes that may not be the best lens to look at whether to decide to commercialize or not. My suggestion is to not be afraid to take the first step for entrepreneurial scientists uh, and actually work with many people across all of Singapore. I mean, we have a very good ecosystem, a growing one, a vibrant one. Feel free to talk to me, feel free to talk to SG Innovate, talk to anybody that you think can help you. I think it's important, again, going back to the message, entrepreneurship is about having the right team and the right kind of directions and skill sets can really allow the technology or research you are developing in your labs and bring it out into the world, right? Bring it out, export it out of Singapore.